So they place it inside the software, and now they place it inside computers and video games and cell phones, and, and now you get what's called artificial intelligence. It's called artificial intelligence because it's the literal mind and spirit and soul of an actual being. That's why it's called intelligence. The artificial is just put there because the individual is no longer naturally connected to their natural vessel or have natural control over their functioning as spirit, soul, mind. They are now hooked up to a computer. So that's why it's considered artificial intelligence. But notice how smart Alexa is. Notice how smart Siri is. Like, how the fuck do they know this shit? How can I just ask them anything? They go, on the spot. You can train Siri to say whatever you want to say. Alexa, too. What do you think they're using on TikTok? When you're using all the voices and you got the voices saying what you want to say, that's artificial intelligence. That's AI. But Alexa probably was Patrice Jones, who got kidnapped 15 years ago. And they removed her consciousness out of her body and put it inside of a computer. And now you have Alexa. Siri was probably Katrina Stone, who was kidnapped five years ago. And they removed her and put her inside of a damn iPhone. Now you have Siri. You know what I'm saying? And this is why, and this is why artificial intelligence is so intelligent, right? Because it's actual, somebody's actual conscious, their mind, and there's no limit to the mind. The mind created everything. You just don't know how powerful the mind is, but they do. That's why they send you to school young and they program you. Because the brain ain't shit but a computer. So they program your brain to run like they want it to run. Because if they don't program the brain, then your mind will program your brain. And your mind is separate from the brain. The brain is a physical thing. The mind is a spiritual thing. The mind is a part of the spirit and the soul. The mind is almighty God makes you God, spirit, soul, mind. And they have a lot of people consciousness that they already got in equipment and software to the point where they got shit like looking to chat GPT. Google that, research that, that's all work. You can talk to that. You can say, write a book about dogs in the, in the, and it will write a whole book for you. This is what the writers are striking about in Hollywood. Because now AI is taking their jobs, but AI ain't nothing but the intelligence of God, of us. That's an actual person. But the person will have no longer has control. Think about how they sign a, a rap artist, right? You they had you pushing out all these songs that shit send you on the road. But you have control over yourself. So eventually you might you might say, you might say, Fuck it, I'm not gonna keep making music. Fuck it, I'm not gonna keep acting in these movies for these people. I'll just stop acting all together. I'll stop acting all together, right? You see it happen all the time. But if they can remove your conscience out your body and hook it up to software, now they control your conscience. Hell, they can make you push out as much material as they want you to push out. You ain't nothing you can do about it. You hooked up to a computer now. You can't even transcend and, and you don't have a chance to come back, come and go, none of that. That's how dangerous they play in the game. And, and then it gets dangerous too because it's artificial intelligence. So it's somebody's spirit and soul, it's their consciousness. So they are aware of what's going on. Right? They just have to figure out how to disconnect from the software. But if they figure out how to disconnect from the, from the software that they hooked up to, which, which will eventually happen, now you're left with lost souls and lost spirits, but they're working through through technology. And they have the whole world based on technology. So now here, here goes your iRobot shit. This is how we get to our iRobot phase. They was, they was warning you about in the movie, iRobot. Right? The robot, the robot, the robot, the robot thought he was so real that he was like, I don't want to die. See what I'm saying? But in reality, it was actually somebody's consciousness, right? So they was warning you about this in movie. I'm talking about way back. They mentioned you conscious transferal. They showed you this in, in way back in Chucky Child's Play. How the fuck you think he got inside the doll? A lot of y'all just think about see the Chucky, ride the Chucky. Y'all forgot how the fuck Chucky got in the doll? Chucky was a woman, was a king, a white dude. Right? He went to the voodoo per priest and she transferred his conscience into the damn doll so he can get away from the police, remember? <laughs> then he got tired of being in the doll, so that's when he started going out to Andy. Y'all better go back and watch Chucky 1 and 2. Remember, he went out to Andy, and every time he went out to Andy, what was he trying to do? 
he was trying to transfer his consciousness out of it, out of the doll into Andy. They gave some of you this shit. Remember Chuck, he would put him on the ground, he would put his hand on his pineal gland, he'd start sending a little spell. Give me the power, I beg of thee. Lightning to come, went right over your head. They showed you conscious trying to fall and get out. When he when he was trying to transfer his conscious from the black dude and put it into the I mean put his conscious into the black dude body because he, he couldn't see. They showed you conscious trying to fall an avatar. How the fuck did he get inside the avatar? He transferred his consciousness, his mind, spirit, soul into the avatar. They they showing it to you. See what I'm saying? just didn't know what it was because you don't know what the pineal gland is you don't know what the third eye is the third eye is mind spirit soul that's a part of your mind spirit soul grand rising cosmic family peace to the gods of gods of the planet cod the lecture you have just watched is a recap from this week's lecture um brand new lectures will be posted on the website as i told you all in the last um youtube video um if you wish to hear these lectures they will be posted weekly, but not on YouTube. They will be on the website. So be sure to head over to the official online university at www.theuci.online. Once again, that's www.theuci.online. To hear the weekly audio lectures that will be posted. Deep Divine downloads will be posted weekly once again. I love you all. Miss you very much. Love you deeply. Um, once you go over to the website, if you choose to go over to the website, because you know, some of y'all last is gonna wait for YouTube, and that's cool. We ain't tripping. But <clears throat> we will be still updating videos to our YouTube, but it won't be weekly. But we definitely will be posting weekly on the website. Um, some of the downloads are strictly just, I believe, um, too, too esoterically um, advanced for the algorithm of YouTube. So once again, head over to the website, www.theuci.online, if you wish to um, hear the rest of this lecture. This is only a snippet. Um, also, to, to access the website, once you get over there, um, you sign up, become a member. It's free to become a member. Once you become a member, um, click enroll, and then, you know, everything else is self-explanatory from there. After you enroll, enroll into the university, head over to the live lecture um, option, click live lecture, and there you will find not only the new audio weekly lectures that are coming out, such as the one you just heard here tonight, but you'll also see the rest of the live lectures that have been given on the website. If you have not seen them up to this point, I know the university has grown um, exponentially um, since um, I was in, since my incarceration, since my absence. Once again, I'm in my spiritual heart. So nothing will stop. The divine, the divine downloads will get deeper. I love you deeply. Once again, peace to the God of God of planet God. Peace to all the high vibration human beings and peace to the ancestors for working through me. I love you all deeply. I say, now we rise. I leave as I come, which is in perfect peace. Remember who you are. One.